Welcome back, everybody, to our realistic rebuild of the Pittsburgh Stallers. We are in week seven, coming off a very Steelers esque win. 10 to 5. It is not Scorigami. It has happened one time before. But now we have the Ravens. And then we have the Bills. And then we have the Bucks. And then we have the Browns. This schedule is something else. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna be able to um, make the playoffs here. It's 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 gonna be really, really freaking tough. I, I, I'm only going to play six games on the season. We've already played three of them. But I think this is the stretch where we want to find out if we have a chance. So I am going to sim, I think, this week against the Ravens. Hope we can keep Lamar under pressure and figure that out. Um, and then maybe we play next week against the Bills or the week after that against the Bucks. But yeah, I think I think we got a sim. We, we do have a GM conversation here. Who does he think we should sign? Wide receiver Cole Beasley. That might actually not be a bad idea. Sure. We're playing the Bills next week. He can give us a little you can give us a little edge. We do have to make a cut. Um, sorry to Derek King, but we're gonna practice squad him. So hopefully Beasley can provide us some depth there. He is an upgrade in the slot. Emmanuel Sanders just hasn't been able to stay healthy for us. So between the two of them, hopefully that'll be an upgrade. Let's do our own upgrades here before we simulate. Ulysses Gilbert III, straight from the Civil War and on to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Daniel Falala. Falala la 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 la. Nice boost. Let's see your Adderley. Lousy upgrade there. Kendrick Green. And I think... Oh, wow, we got a few more down here. Josh Johnson, we will do... Let's work on that deep threat ability there. The release is so poor. And TJ. Hashtag gains, 97 overall. Speed rusher. Speed boost for TJ and two zone coverage. Better zone covers than a lot of safeties out there. But let's take a look at our quarterback options as our season's starting to dwindle a little bit. Remember, this was a really top-heavy class, or just a good class in general. And uh, these guys are, have kept their top five projections. And uh, only, well, Owen Murray is at 75% completion now. And he's got A, awareness. Throw power is not... We don't have throw power yet. Do they not give you throw power? I guess that's a physical trait, so they don't have that on there, huh? Throw power is good to great. As are his athletic traits. I mean, he is really intriguing to me. The mobile option. Otherwise, these guys potentially have just piss missiles for arms. 6'5", 231, 6'2", 228, 6'5", 234. These are big guys. Um, but Cortland Patrick only six feet. He is decent, athletically speaking, and his arm actually is not. He, he's maybe a little more Baker Mayfield-esque, but he only has DB sack. I'm kind of out on Cortland Patrick. The other two depending on how we feel about their arm talent, because he's great to elite, and he actually, he's, he's more of a pocket passer, and then great to elite, and he actually has good to great speed, so Devin Pippen 
actually could be a monster. And then let's not overlook Cody Sarah, who has okay traits. Acceleration and speed, though, not so much. So I think our favorites for now are going to be Murray, Hopkins, and, and Pippen. We're kind of out on Sara and Patrick for now. To be determined, but let's play. See if we can get to three and five. Keep our season alive here. It's not looking great. Monday night primetime football. Johnson is in there. What happened? Who? Johnson? We must have an injury? Is that the kid? That's Buddy Johnson. So... We must have an injury to Jordan Hicks. Or the computer released him because you know why. Thanks, EA. Whatever. We can play Buddy Johnson. This is a mid-round pick by the Steelers. We can see what he's got. Good D. Well, Kime time. That's kind of what this series is for, right? I feel like we kind of answered what I would do if you want to rewatch the series. See it broken down a little bit more, but uh, we went, we got a veteran in Jimmy Garoppolo, we got Haskins on the roster, and. Come on. Good job. What a weird. Oh, is that not a fumble? Jordan Hicks had a situation, that's right. Good stop, though. Jimmy G, his uh, his starting job might be on the line. He's had a couple of teen score games these last few weeks. He's had some good moments as well, but look at the juke by Cordero there. Ben watching. Sounds good, Kime time. Always got to try and plug to people. That I don't know necessarily who's been watching, who hasn't been watching, but... Claypool, Claypool, Claypool. I wanted to go to Claypool there, but Gentry has made some plays. But yes, Jimmy G, his job is definitely not safe at this point in time. We did trade a second round pick for him, and he's relatively cheap. So I, I don't want to just give up on him straight up, you know? Gentry is a, what, six foot seven tight end out of, I think, Michigan. I'm so tempted to go to Claypool here. Watch this. I feel like we've maybe underutilized Mapletron a little bit so far. Open middle of the field here. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, there you go, Sanders. That's what's up. Great read by Jimmy there. Corner opened up. Emmanuel Sanders gets his revenge touchdown. Can we get one for Cole Beasley? That's interesting. I never thought about uh, Cole and Emmanuel Sanders, how they they both started at SMU, but that's that makes it that makes it even cooler that we have them both. Come on, Roby, get there! Oh, Minka, Minka! Come on, the cleanup pick artist himself. He he didn't come down at that. All right, Tim, settle. Blow it up. Yes, Tim, settle! Oh!
This is really just a Tim Settle rebuild. It's not really a Pittsburgh Steelers rebuild, to be honest. Apparently, the Steelers are just the Bills' worst nightmare. It's been a heavy dose of Cordero so far. He's still in there as our third down back, which we probably should change. Oh! Oh! Gosh! Jimmy G's feeling it. Although we're just going to go zone. Cordero has just been the offense so far. Got Mapletron on the deep post. He's got it. Oh, he drops it. Trey White on the coverage. Let me fix this now so we get a little more Najee. Remind me to do this after the game, guys. Although Cordero deserves some, some looks. Come on, I just, I want to push Claypool, but he just got his opportunity last play. Cordero says, why are you trying to bench me? <laughs> We've seen what Najee can do, though. Oh, Emmanuel Sanders. They're booing him. But what a spin move. That looked like old, old Emmanuel on that one. Just get in there, Najee. Count it. Oh, come on. He, he got that. That's all right. We'll toss it. Follow Watt. Easy. Off to a great start. Defense is hanging on tight so far. As they should. This defense is capable of great things. They're running on us, Buffalo. You're not going to do it. It's not happening. Devin Bush. Devin Bush is playing really well. He's having his best year as a Pittsburgh Steeler, I'd say. The uh, Nasir Adderley signing actually... I need to fix this formation sub as well, but... That actually opens up a lot for this defense because now we can go too high with him and Fitzpatrick and we can do Edmonds in the box like this. TJ, force the fumble. Oh, and Hayward picks it up and somehow gets out of there. What a dominating performance so far. Just TJ Watt's third sack of the season. We got to get him going more. Let's skip a drive. Get this moving a little bit. Play one more offensive drive and maybe that'll be all we need for this game. Oh, are you kidding me? What was that? Oh, and what was that? All of that. Literally all of that was nuts. But mostly the throw by Jimmy G, who re released it at the exact moment that the defense both committed. And then that wasn't a touchdown. This is getting weird. You know, if any receiver was going to just turn around and showboat and then get tackled because they were closer than they realized, then he realized it would be Chase Claypool, who is like a showboating specialist. But what a drive. I, I honestly, I think we'll, um, we'll push this to the end of the game. 35 nothing. What a dominating win. Defense still pitching a shutout. Are they going to get a whole shutout here? Nope. Jinxed it. Still, though. That's how we get back on track. Jimmy with pretty much a perfect game. 
Najee does some stuff. Claypool does some stuff. TJ Watt, three sacks. Devin Bush, an interception. Devin Bush has been a hell of a storyline for us. Maybe he could even get a breakout. But a little bit of positivity on the season there. Buffalo continues their struggles. Let's go ahead and advance. Bucks are 2 and 5. It's a winnable game for us. If we can pressure Tom Brady. Is this the end for Brady? Here's hoping. Now let's go throw it short cuz we're not going to just run the run the ball up the middle on this team. I think I will simulate this one. We got that home game against the Ravens coming up. If we can win this in simulation, that would really keep our season afloat. We've played four games now. I don't want to interfere so much that we just win in our first year. If we're going to win in our first year, I want it to be because we built a good team, not because we interfered and beat up on the computer, you know, so. I think I will simulate this one, keep some of those playages for later. Now, this is the trade deadline, but we picked up Cole Beasley. We're not in a position where we should be buying. I'm also not really trying to sell right now. Uh, I might sell in the off season, but let's see if we can't, can't go on the road to Tampa and take down Tom Brady. Whoa! Hello? You play to win the game. 50 to 10? Just as aggravated Gorilla comes into the chat and says Jimmy Garoppolo MVP year, we pick off Tom Brady twice in the Jimmy Garoppolo revenge opportunity. Whoa. Yeah, 91 and 17. Our last two games, Najee goes off. Claypool heating up. We did have a breakout player flashing there. Apparently, Cole Beasley is all we needed to unlock this offense, and apparently all we needed to unlock TJ Watt, who has seven sacks in two games. Adderley and Pierre get picks. Whoa! That makes things interesting. I want to... Honestly, I don't even think we should leave anything. Najee's getting the rock. Um or change the third down running back is what I was thinking about there. But what about that formation that I wanted to adjust? Uh, it was dime. Two, three, six. Yes. So here, it says this is what they're going to do, but that's actually not what they end up trotting out there but this is the defense right there Edmonds at linebacker Adderley that that might just become our new base defense right there with the front four we have so our breakout player is Najee who has a chance to get x-factor well-deserved we are definitely playing this one. Got a hot opponent. Cleveland's 8-1. and one. And I think I'm just going to play offense today with this breakout. We're going to defend Nick Chubb to the best of our ability. We got to go half pads here. Defense is fatiguing even though we're in half pads. And then the offensive game plan, run it inside. This is a squishy... Brown's interior that we can run on. So we're going to go 200 plus yards rushing. Pick it off twice. Rush for 150 yards. And let's get 15 first downs. This will be fun. Just feed in Najee. Now for this game, I definitely want to make sure he's in there at third down back. Because it's going to be a full dosage. of Najee. Lots of upgrades here. Kevin Dotson coming along at right tackle. Struggled early on, but he's been much better. 
He's shown that he could be a franchise left tackle for us, just maybe. Speed boost for Donovan Steiner. And even Trey Turner getting in on the... boost. Let's just look at our season-long stats before we hop in here. So Jimmy right in the middle, 13 touchdowns, 5 picks, very respectable season, coming like right in as that 16th best quarterback in the NFL. Najee dominating, 5.4 yards of carry. Deontay Johnson is our leading receiver, does not have a touchdown yet. Beasley only has one reception so far. And then defensively, TJ Watt has awoken, nine sacks. Uh, no sacks yet for Zadarius Smith, just a half. But Devin Bush playing well. Probably his best year as a Steeler so far. Let's get it after we do this staff upgrade. A lot of stuff. Get an additional focus player there. Defense gets us a stop. That's what we like to see. They're giving us a light look early on. And look who's unlocked an ability, guys. Tyler Linderbaum is superstar. And he says... <laughs> the nightmare will continue. Good D, good D. Sounds like a fun Friday night. Yeah, it's going well. It's going well. I don't always throw that quick, quick out there, but with Jimmy's release, playing off coverage, it's not a bad, not a bad call. Oh, Muth ends up catching it. It was the unintended receiver on that one, but hey. Moves the sticks. So far, they're playing pretty stout. Just two for one. Just running again. Jace. They've worked on that run defense, clearly. Wow, good D. Let's pin him. Not the best drive there. Browns are stopped again. Good job, D. Doing their job. There's a lane. Oh, Ronnie Harrison, great job working back to make that tackle. We had a huge lane. And these safeties making some tough tackles. Just eight yards on five carries so far. You got to run it again, though, right? With this pre snap look by the Browns. Najee says, thank you. Let's give him a let's give him a breather. Even though he's got plenty of energy, but let's give him a breather real quick. Yeah. Bad read. Bad read. How about a screen for Najee? Man, he's tackling. Greedy Williams bringing down Najee there. There you go, Claypool. Move the sticks. It's 10 yards. He's so just big and sturdy. He has a very good feel in this game. Oh, this is dangerous. 
High upside, though, if we block Garrett. Yeah. Cordero's in there for one. I might be lucky that that was deflected. I, I don't know. I was thrown to A on the hitch. Stick route. And may have been intercepted. I don't know. Can't break a tackle by these safeties. So we'll take the we'll take the field goal. See if our defense can hold again. Two minute warning. We gotta go hurry up here. Able to avoid grounding there by throwing it in the vicinity of the receivers there, but that was a little lucky. Oh gosh. Dangerous throw. Ruben Foster in coverage. Didn't exactly know where to go. With the ball on that one. Looking like we're going to need a yardage breakout for Najee here because the concept of scoring four touchdowns in this game right now seems borderline impossible. But God, if our defense isn't playing great. They get another stop. I mean, this is, this is what we envisioned when we built this defense. Blitzed against the draw. There's nothing I can do there. They're giving us so much space up front. Block it up. I literally feel like Mike Tomlin right now with how we're coaching this game. It kind of hurts my soul. But it's working so far. <laughs> Great punt. We got this. They're bound to score eventually, but they don't on that one. 93 yards to be had here for Najee. Can we get every single one of them? Gosh. Trey Turner gets hurt. Chooks is going to come in. We're going to pull him right away. Let's see what he's made of. I like our uh, numbers on the left side. Thirteen for thirty-nine. It's just it's not there. Just hot read this, Johnson. Ooh, Muth. Great play. You like that? You like that? Good run. Tanner Gentry, or Zach Gentry, continues to make plays for us. Really nice if we could get a get a touchdown here. Make this so it's not such a closely contested game for our defense. There you go, Najee. There's the patience. He's still having a good game. I, I don't know if we're gonna get the breakout or not, but he can always get the breakout later. He's got a whole career out of him. He's still superstar. Oh. Just one more here, Najee. Come on. There we go. Great blocking by Linderbaum. 
Chat's quiet. You guys still there? I must be really entertaining you. That's right, Raph. Linder, go. Gotta get rid of it. Gotta get rid of it. Brothy J still in the house. That's what we like to hear. Well, the defense is doing their job. I say we just run it. If we get it, we get it. There's only one linebacker in the box. You never know. We could always break one free at the end of this game. The Derrick Henry effect, the more you give him the ball. Can the defense really continue pitching a shutout here? My God, killing it. There you go, Najee. 100 yards. Najee needs 200 yards for the breakout, which seems pretty unlikely right now. Although, could get his second touchdown here. You can't stop him. Hey, we're close again. Don't rule it out, chat. I'm going to give him a screen. He still has full stamina. I can't believe our defense is pitching a shutout still. That's what's amazing to me. Break one in there. I just noticed I've been working for 12, uh, 13 straight hours. Starting to fatigue a little bit here. We'll see if we can get through the rest of the season or not. Oh, they, apparently it says go for it. Might as well run it. I mean, we climbed our way back to 500 here, chat. That's three for Najee. What can the defense do? Nope, they don't get us the ball. But we pitch a shutout, 28 to nothing. Najee won't get X-Factor, but he's well on his way for a Pro Bowl season, and maybe he'll get that X-Factor anyway. Still a hell of a game. I'm just proud of the way our defense performed there. Oh my. A speed boost. Don't feel disappointed, Najee. You've got great things ahead. So we have one game left that we are going to interfere in. We have gotten back to 500. Now, if I make the playoffs, I'll go full on play the moments. The bye week coming up. We should use the bye week to look at our renegotiations. Definitely want everybody to rest up. Falala gets another one. I feel like every time he gets an upgrade, I gotta do it. Fa la 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 la. It's gotta happen. Deal with it. Claypool. Deep threat. Akello. Into the green now. Literally the entire team. Deontay. Been pretty quiet for us. 
but we're going to auto the rest of these guys. 14 players upgraded. Hashtag gains. You know what it is. Scouting focus players. So we want to definitely have our full evals on these guys. Owen Murray's already pretty much done. And then how about a corner? Um, sure, Shire Simmons. Because quarterback may or may not happen. We're going to have to kind of evaluate that situation a little bit more in the offseason. Let's look at our players to negotiate. Nothing too big. Okay, so two its contracts up. He wants two years, 33.2. Minka is up. Obviously, those are two game changers for our defense. Our kicker's up, okay. Deontay Johnson's up. He's been pretty quiet. Jimmy G is up. Devin Bush, this is like the time to pay him. Three years, he's been a bit disappointing. We definitely want to pay that, and he's going to stick around. Um, Adderley is up. It's been a nice piece. I don't know if we'd re-sign him quite yet. Basically, the entire team is up for contract. This is actually crazy. Some tough calls. I, I am going to hold off on both these guys. I want to kind of see how the season plays out before I... Because Minka's been real quiet. He's been quiet here for a while. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to get rid of him. I just I want to encourage him to finish the season strong to earn that contract. And to it, obviously, getting up there in age. If we, if we tear this thing down a little bit more, depending on how the season ends, we may or may not want to keep him. So Ravens week. It's a big one. We could potentially make this our final playage of the season. Uh, the rest of our schedule here, we've got Dolphins, Falcons, Eagles, Browns, Jets, Bengals. It lightens up a little bit. I'm kind of thinking we play defense against Lamar and see how we can do. Let's give it a try. If we win, we get to six and five. I'm going to stay half pads the rest of the year. Let's see if we can sack Lamar a bunch. What tier of wide receiver would I rank Deontay after this season? Um, he is a quality number two wide receiver, high end number two wide receiver. Devin Bush conveniently gets an upgrade after. Yeah, Rufus, let's see if there's any bots here that could set that up for us. Any bots here that can do a little channel point betting on this one? I think Ravens would be six point favorites in this one. I don't know if any mods are here to help us out with that or not. I don't know how to set it up, but let's play defense. Thursday primetime. Can we get the uh, color rushes going? I love the Steelers color rushes. I've probably underutilized those a little bit here. Big game. Come on, D. This just feels right. Color rush jerseys, Thursday night primetime. Lamar Jackson, Steelers. The rivalry at its best right here. Good stop. Oh, man. Good try. I forgot they drafted Chris Olave. So this Ravens receiving group is pretty nuts. It'd be fun to go against these guys here. TJ shuts it down. Sorry, Rufus, it doesn't look like we have any any mods here to do channel points. Someday I gotta figure out how to do it myself. Second and nine. Cam Hayward all over it. Third and 12. It's 
screen. Sutton. And that's a stop. Good job, D. Offense goes and gets us a touchdown. Hell yeah. What a turnaround this has been. Mike Tomlin says, I'm not about to have a losing season now. Holding. Bring it back. Beep. 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 Sacked. Contained. Let's go. The game plan in full effect right there. We'll give him that. Now we're going to get after it on third and 20. Apparently put Nasir Adderley in as my rush backer. It's a screen. Come on, Bush. We'll give him that. We will give them that. Another stop. You don't come into our house and play offense. Apparently, we don't play offense in our house either. Let's get the uh, second line going. Louder milk, bugs, wormly. Oh, Bush slows him down. Edmonds finishes the job. What could I realistically get for Watt if I decide to trade him this offseason? Well, it'd be incredibly stupid because we just gave him like 110 million guaranteed. It would just destroy our salary cap situation. So the concept of trading him is stupid, but you could get two firsts and maybe even a third for him. TJ, let's go. Oh, he picked it up just barely. Got him. That is Buddy Johnson. Yeah, exactly, Shock Lou. It, it just, it's not really in the playbook for us to trade TJ. Good contain. Third and nine. Should we get a little weird? Probably gonna regret this, but let's get a little weird. No pass rush. But Zedarius, we got weird and it worked, I guess. Confused Lamar, that's for sure. Oh! Oh, okay. Okay, Josh Johnson. I see you. We get the field goal just off the kick return alone. We're back on defense. Ball start. Devin Bush, baby. That contract is going to be a bargain in a couple years, I can tell you. Oh, it's a screen. TJ's all over it, though. Good job, offense. Should be a uh, pretty basic possession here from the Ravens. Probably pretty conservative. Oh, but they're passing it. Not even be able to get the ball back for our guys. Overturned, okay. It's fine by me.
Who are they booing? Why are they booing? Because they don't have an incomplete pass, probably. I mean, you can keep trying this, Baltimore. It's cute. Oh, smart play. Backing up instead of tackling him and letting him get the field goal. The shutout lives on. We have back-to-back -back weeks with a shutout. Can you imagine the things they'd be saying about this defense? One in simulation and one with us playing against a good Ravens team. Oh, what was that? Oh, Cam Hayward. Monster stop. Look out for the fake here. The shutout continues, man. Milk that clock, oh. Eh. Could have done more. Good tackle. TJ Watt with the pressure. I'm gonna, I think, decline this penalty. Take third and six. We're gonna rush them here. No! I conservative tackled and everything. Definitely left ourselves vulnerable to that play right there. I was gonna let James Prochet beat me and then not break a one on one tackle. And uh, he did. The shutout is dead, but we're still playing well. Offense eats up some clock. I mean, you can keep trying to run the ball, Baltimore, but it's not working. Yep, keep trying. Stupid play calling. get an extra cover player in TJ Watt. Get there, Roby. Number four. Woo! Let's go. Number four for him. He's having a great season as our number one corner. I'm going for uh, pick six here. Or uh, pick six, that was stupid. Safety. <laughs> Good D. Faking injuries now so they can stop the clock. I get it. It's cool. Oh, I thought I could jump that. I guess James Prochet. They got all these receivers. Bateman, Brown. They draft the Wilson or whatever out of Ohio State. But James Prochet is the one that beats us. Oh, there's Fitz. I told you guys, we just needed to inspire him. Oh, <laughs> He just needed a little inspiration to uh, get that contract extension. What a play.
Still a great game. Not going to let a garbage time touchdown. Jimmy G plays great. Najee plays well. Gentry gets a touchdown. So TJ, two sacks. We get a pick from Minka and Roby. I think we pay Minka now after that beautiful interception he had to basically lock up the game. Make him the highest paid safety in football. Probably looking at 20 mil a year if we're going to keep this realistic, which we are. So Minka, five years. Gosh, I said we're going to keep it realistic, Madden. It's not quite 20 for the highest paid safety. But that's, I think, would make him the highest paid safety in the NFL. And now we must simulate. So the Dolphins are 4-7. and seven. Can we beat them? Yes! 24-21. Let's go. That's a big dub right there. A couple more wins should get us in. Look at the playoff picture. As it sits right now, we got the 7th seed. Also, don't mind the dog. He's very excited about this uh, stretch that we're on. How did we do last week? Jimmy did throw two interceptions against his mirrored counterpart to a tug of Aloha, but Najee continues to dominate. Deontay has a big game. Says, pay me, please. Fitz gets a sack. TJ Watt heating up. Gets an interception. Keeping an eye on Stefan Tuitt, honestly, because... His contract's up. Just three and a half sacks this year, down year. We're paying Zedarius for another couple of years. We got Cam Hayward, TJ Watt. I don't know if it's smart to just throw money at to it when we have all these other options here. So I'm not saying I'm letting him go, but so far I don't think he's done enough to warrant this extension right now. Deontay, kind of the same deal. Wide receiver shown to be a position that you can find. The one player that I think we should pay is Bradley Roby, who's crushing it this year. Four interception season. I think it's smart to bring him back next year. He's earned that. Uh, Jimmy G, we're going to wait. Chris Wormley doesn't want a ton of money. We'll, we'll continue to wait on that between him and Tuit. We'll probably bring one of those guys back. Watts up. Adderley, can we get for cheaper? I just wonder. I wouldn't mind paying him. He's a good third safety to have. He's not going to take that. Sutton's up, our slot corner. All these guys are up. Cordero. Gentry's been a good role player for us, but he's asking for way too much. Uh, these two guys were undrafted pickups. I'm actually, week 17, I'm going to pay them, and then I'll edit their contract so that he's uh, on that UDFA deal. So it's really just those two DNs that we're monitoring here. And of course, Jimmy Garoppolo will be an off-season decision, I think. I think I will change Linderbaum's ability for us, because he's got Polar Elite. Our system, we don't really get him pulling that much. Aggravated Gorilla, I'm not opposed to making Jimmy the future of this team. We'll just go all day. I'm not opposed to paying Jimmy long-term. I need to see how his season finishes. Got to pick up a few more wins here. We got Falcons, Eagles, Jets on the schedule. Winnable games. Got to finish, though. 20-14. to 14, This defense continues to dominate. Hell yeah. Look at, look at how we're doing. 14, 21, 15, 0, 10, 7. We give up 28 to a good Ravens team. 5. Raiders got 28 on us. Like, this defense has been dominant for the majority of this season, which is what we knew this team was capable of. Jimmy, a clean game. We pick off Matt Ryan three times. TJ gets another two sacks. He's going to break the sack record again. Devin Bush gets a pick. Fitzpatrick gets a pick. This is fun, man. 
This team is going off. Eagles are 5-8. and eight. We got the in-state battle here, although I forgot this team acquired Deshaun Watson. So let's go defend deep pass. Definitely a disappointment for the Eagles. They make the playoffs. They go get Deshaun Watson, and then he's unable to carry them. Najee keeps getting better. Big upgrade. Oh, my God, another speed boost. This guy is going to crush this league. 91 speed for Najee Harris. That's just a cheat code. Wow. Can't wait to play with him in the playoffs or next year. Hopefully it didn't just jinx it. Knock on wood. Can we beat the Eagles? This would all but get us into the playoffs. 34 to 17. The defense continues its work. 34 points for the offense. Wow, man. This is sweet. Jimmy does throw a pick, but 359 yards. Chase Claypool. Defensively, TJ. Oh my god. Three sacks. Tuit still hasn't really stood out for us. There's always the franchise tag, too. That's always an option. We got a breakout player for probably uh, Chase Claypool here. I'm actually not going to play it because we have interfered too much already this year. I'm going to trust that he can continue to play well, and maybe he'll get it anyway. Tough week against the Browns for sure. We get weekly awards, and it goes to Jimmy Garoppolo. Is he in the freaking MVP conversation here? Because he's having a hell of a year. I doubt it. No. But TJ Watt, Defensive Player of the Year. Defensive Rookie. That wouldn't be us. We drafted all linemen. Best running back. Najee's fourth. Zeke on the Texans. Best wide receiver, James Washington, has been freed on the Chiefs. I actually really like that fit. Claypool's on there. TJ Watt for best linebacker, of course. Bradley Roby fourth for best DB. And the remaining killer B, Chris Boswell. Upgrades galore. Let's knock these out. Going to need all the, all the help we can get against this Browns team. Tim Settle, the GOAT. Good upgrade. Kendrick Green. And Minka. Now, if we win this, we're really talking. I mean, if we win this, division's still out of reach, but this is a hell of a Browns team. 12 and 2. Ooh, 28 21. No superstar for Claypool. But we got Jets are 5 and 10. Bengals next week. We really just got to win one of these two. One little change I need to make is this right here. This doesn't make any sense. Get Buddy Johnson in there. Got some staff points to spend. All we got to do is beat Zach Wilson. We get another focus player to add to the mix this week. Come on, Steelers. We got upgrades first. Dotson. Continuing to grow at right tackle. And TJ. He's going to get that 99, guys. He's going to get it. He's got it with his morality boost. Oh, my God. Morality boost. Morale boost. He's gotten two speed, you guys. Holy heck. All right. Come on. Beat the Jets. Beat the Jets. Hello? You play to win the game. that was going to happen. You don't play to just play it. We're still the seven seed. <sighs> Come on. Come on. I can't even play it. This is like torture. Maybe if I set our goals, the team will achieve it. We can do this. We've come too far. Let's just look at the standings and see if this is must win. It's definitely not must win. We could... We could easily lose this and still get in. Raiders have the tiebreaker on us. It's not must win, but let's just win it. And get in. But because this is the 
end. I'm not playing anything, but I might watch a little bit. And we gotta put those uh, color rushes on, just, just for the extra swagger. Come on, Jimmy. Okay, defense is doing their their job early on. Come on, oh, ugh, ah, oh, come on. Yikes, man, this is brutal. We're getting blown out. I mean, if this was close, I was gonna watch something, but this is just embarrassing. How many interceptions do we throw today? That was awful. Yeah, Mike Tomlin's like, what the hell was that? Over before it even got started. Four, Jimmy Garoppolo just selling. Four interceptions. Yuck. No sacks. The defense did nothing for us. Good God, that was ugly. If that's how we're going to end the season, we don't deserve. That's like Indianapolis Colts stuff right there. So we finish 9-8, and eight, hoping that we're still in the playoffs. But no guarantees after that performance. And we don't make it. That is going to set up some pretty serious disappointment and going to build some narratives for sure with Jimmy Garoppolo finishing the year like that. Yuck. The Jets win their division and get in at 7-10. and 10. We let the Texans get in and the Ravens. That was just hideous. Colts catching strays from TFG. Yeah, seriously. So, Jimmy Garoppolo, who was having a good season with a vomit performance. Deontay definitely will not be earning a contract extension. He just wasn't good enough. Um, you know, we made strides. It was not a full failure of a season. We went 9-8. and eight, But perhaps a little scared that we're stuck in purgatory here. We're going to have to make some difficult decisions this offseason. It will be interesting. But I am going to end the stream there and say thank you for watching whether you're still live with me twitch about three hours into this stream or uh on tfg plays enjoying the series if you are on tfg plays let me know in the comments down below what should we do with our quarterback situation should we sell the house to trade up for one of these quarterbacks do we give jimmy g another run at it after a decent season Gamer Joseph pointing out, Mike Tomlin still does not have a season with a losing record. So, don't want that to start next year. We got some tough calls to make, and we will be making them, but not right now. We're going to peace out. We'll see you later.